Hi, welcome to our lesson for today. We are looking at systems technology and our focus would be on choosing specialized hardware components. Now, to choose hardware can be difficult because there's a lot of different devices that are available out there. Now, the first device that we're going to look at are digital cameras. Now, digital cameras, they take still and moving images and they are able to produce output immediately. Now, some advantages of digital cameras as well as disadvantages are you don't need films anymore. You can capture a lot of images and you are able to transfer these images. You can edit and delete images. You can record video that has sound and you are able to connect your camera to a printer or to a, a screen or a TV screen. Now some disadvantages, your memory card can be corrupted, it can be expensive, and it can use a very high battery consumption. Now the next hardware is webcams. Now webcams are basically digital cameras that capture images as well as videos. Now these webcams, they provide live broadcast on the internet via video conferencing. Now some of these advantages as well as disadvantages of a webcam is that it can be used anywhere and it allows communication to be more interesting. Some disadvantages is that you need internet uh, most of the time, so you can't really uh, sometimes use it without the internet. And then the streaming can have poor images, and you can record and publish to the public by mistake. Let's say, for example, a video gets taken by mistake and it's published. And it also has very high security risks. All right. Then the next hardware, scanners. Now, scanners are basically input devices that scans images, printed text, as well as handwriting digital images. Now, what simply means that is that your scanner would scan images as well as printed text, and then it can also scan your handwritten notes on pages into digital images. Now, Documents as well as images that have been scared can also be manipulated. Now, for you to be able to manipulate these scanned documents and images, you need what we call an OCR. Now, an OCR is an optical character recognition software that scans or converts scanned text into editable electronic files. So after you have scanned, say for example, a page from a textbook, you have the ability to edit text from that page. Now the resolution of scanners is measured in PPI. Now these are some of the advantages as well as disadvantages. Images can be electronic, documents are kept safe, and you get graphic applications that can allow you to manipulate images. Some disadvantages, scanned images can take a lot of memory, the image quality depend on the original image, and quality is lost while a document is scanned. All right, then moving on to the next hardware, which we call a monitor. Now monitors are visual windows for users display text, graphics, and video. Now, what monitors provide is that output when you have been working on your computer with input and after processing has happened. Now, the resolution, refresh rate, as well as the size are some important aspects of a monitor. Now, some advantages it provides output in a soft copy. It takes out uh, less space as well as less electricity depending on the screen type. 
It can be expensive, again, also depending on the screen type. Now let's look at some buying decisions regarding a keyboard and a mouse. Now you need to remember that your keyboard and the mouse, they allow you to give in data as well as instructions. Now these devices, they come in different types and they are some of these devices that are designed for ergonomic purposes for user comfort. Now this allows you to choose from a lot of different types. But there are some common purposes that these devices serve. For example, they sometimes can be difficult to use for some people, all right? But we obviously know that they are easy to use and learn once you know how to use them. Now, they are also a fastest way of entering text. And for one to use um, this device effectively, you obviously need some skills. Now, they also come in two different types. You get your wireless ones. Now, when you get a wireless keyboard or a wireless mouse, you actually get less clutter. But the problem is it will need batteries. And another thing is it will allow limited mobility. It simply means that even though it is wireless, you can't be too far from the receiver. Now, if you're using cabled or um, a cabled keyboard or a mouse, you will obviously have the ability of using the plug and play technology where you don't have to worry about the drivers of the device. Now, moving on to our next topic, which is voice recognition. Now, voice recognition is basically a software that converts speech into text. Now, it uses your voice to enter data as well as instructions into a computer. It also assists physically disabled people who have limited hand mobility. Now, some advantages and disadvantages. It allows faster input, and speech is always a natural way of communication, so it becomes easier for you to use it. Now, some disadvantages. You can't use it in noisy places. You have to train your voice, and sometimes it can be you know, incorrect, hence we say it is not 100% accurate. It can strain your vocals, and sometimes people with accents can be obviously difficult to be recognized by the software. Now, our next device is a printer. Now, there's two types of printers that I just want to touch on. The first one is a laser. Now, a laser is actually fast, expensive to buy, but cheap to run. It is mostly good for document printing, and it can also print in black or white. The second printer is an inkjet printer. It's slower than a laser. It is cheap to buy, but it's expensive to run. It provides good photo printing, and it can also print in black and white. Now, these printers are just our basic printers, but we know that we have a lot of other printers. And even the laser as well as the inkjet, they come in different types. Now, before you would think of buying a printer, here are some uh, hints that you can really need to think on. Now, you need to think of your budget how much you want to spend. You need to think of the speed in terms of which printer is faster. You need to think of the color. Are you going to be printing color printing or are you going to be using black and white printing? And then you need to think of the cost per page. It means how many pages can be printed per cartridge. Now, obviously, it, it will differ from printer to printer. 
and some more of these points. You need to think of the graphics capability. Now, mostly your photo printers would be better than the inkjet, even the laser. You need to think of the photo printing. Now, will you be printing a lot of photos? And obviously, again, a photo printer would be best, but you can obviously resort to an inkjet. The paper size as well as the type. Now, you need to think of what type of paper will you be printing on as well as the size of paper that you need to print on. Systems capability. Now, you need to check if your printer will be able to be downloaded and ran on different operating systems. Now, future needs simply means that will this printer be useful for you in the future? And then wireless capability, does this printer allow wireless connection from different devices in order for them to print? We also have mobility. Now mobility is, is the printer big enough or small enough? Now are you, are you able to actually take this printer and travel with it if necessary? And then resolution of printers is actually the measurement of dots per inch of a printer. Now, it simply means that the higher the DPI, the higher the quality of printing. All right. So now these are some of the considerations regarding printers. Now, when you think of using a printer, you really need to think of economical and environmental considerations. Now, this simply means that you need to care for the environment as well as the economy. Now, let's look at a few points that you really need to think on. Now, whenever you think of economic and environmental considerations, you need to at least think of the green initiatives. Now, green in initiatives would involve using electronic documents, recycling paper as well as some material, refilling your cartridges, printing on both sides of paper, as well as turning off printers when they are not used. So that was it for our topic today. I hope you enjoyed. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.